maybe like little snaps or something, but not the real heavy duty kind where you gotta just like jam in there and totally destroy the plastics to get it out. real live Steam Deck over here. We're gonna take a look around it from an engineering perspective and talk about the things. Mm. Steam Deck. Well, I like I like this right out of the gate. Yeah, it's got a nice like pulley thing, although I didn't utilize it. Yeah. Little strappy pulley thing of a So everyone knows, thing. everyone knows that this is like a, a PC handheld uh, yeah. gaming device. It's kind of popular these days. Ah. Yeah, I it guess just recently came out. Yeah, oh, I hear it hard, hard to get a hold of, right? More or less, yeah. yeah. You had a pre-order like three years ago to get it <laughs> kind of like a cyber truck mm. it's like a cyber truck yeah, yeah except i don't think people got any of those yet yeah so overall the the hand feels pretty good it seems like a pretty compelling apparatus for the price point this thing's pretty cheap that's like half of the appeal i mean it looks like a well-made thing and they're doing all this stuff right which is the impressive thing really has nothing to do with the product itself necessarily but they partnered with ifixit to ensure that you can get almost every part in this thing and are all pretty much affordable and they have manuals and whatnot so you could service a thing and repair it and whatnot so if a little jack breaks you don't need to send it back or throw it out you can fix it yourself which is cool you could buy the little board or whatever thing that broke on your thing and you could fix it that's cool yeah it seems like a, a good concept and it would be nice if more people did stuff like that because it's such a complex thing you don't have to send it back to fix something that's a trivial thing that you could do yourself but it's like a it's like a big Game Boy, huh? Yeah, uh, well, quite. It's big. sort of like that. It's like a modern Game Boy. It. You almost want to like put it on a stand when you're using it or something. Or have, you got to rest your arm somewhere. This thing gets will get heavy over time, right? If you're sitting in midair. <laughs> yeah, you need a little thing to support. It's it. Probably a good half a pound, if not more. It would depend on your seated position, but yeah, you, you could probably rest it on something. Good button feel, though. Everything yeah, feels yeah. feels nice. Like all the modern full size consoles, yeah, essentially. But the first thing is the. The headphone jack is on the top, which I would think you'd want on the bottom. Yeah, So you don't right. have, like, the cable, like, yeah. you know. I guess the cables are long enough. It'll just drape down. But, yeah, it seems like it'll always be fighting you. Yeah. You'll be, you're always twisting the cable around to, to move the thing. Yeah, because they don't have anything on the bottom. So Does this thing have, like, gyros in it or something? Like, a, Yep. Oh, shit. So Yeah, so it does all the things. Yeah. Oh, micro SD. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Expandability. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what it was. I'm like, maybe that's to put your music on. Yeah, it's got Type C. <laughs> because it has a headphone out jack and it's got Type C, that's something we wanted to talk about because you can take something like this and, I mean, with a with a simple basic headphone, go right headphone out. Probably have you know, probably does a couple tenths of a milliwatt. Or something. Mm -hmm. It's not got enough power for a high end. But if you went into like our realm with headphones, you can go to like an IFI device, you know, IFI audio. And go type C to type C, right? Yeah, we should probably try that, see how that works. But it's an interesting concept because this is pretty decent for mobile gaming. But can you have mobile high end audio with your gaming? Right. Hmm. Yeah, so give mean, it a try. Yeah, throw, you know, you get for, I don't know, I forget their latest gen on this stuff, but you can get anything from a few hundred bucks to a few thousand, you know, to maybe a grand or so in the, in the portable headphone app realm with digital inputs. And then, of course, you could run one of our Abyss headphones with it or any high-end headphone that really gets some serious sound out of this thing. It'd be a nice uh, hotel gaming rig. Yeah. Hell, the sound would be better than the video. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty well-made. It's obviously designed for moderate volume. It's not like a cheap, low-volume hobbyist product. Yeah, it looks nice. Somebody knows what they're doing, although this sharp edge isn't particularly appealing between these two pieces of the housing where they fit together. And it does deviate a little bit towards the uh, exhaust here. Gets a little bit more pokey here, but I don't know. I guess the molds don't fit together quite so perfect. The two halves of this, at least. Ease of release. Yeah, but <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's really well done overall, especially because this is pretty inexpensive. And how much is it? It's 400 bucks 400 for the bucks. base. And then there's a few configurations above that, different storage. For a full PC in your hand. Mm. Yeah, but it's pretty reasonable because the competitors in this space that obviously were lower volume they're like a thousand fifteen hundred two thousand so that was pretty high end and oh so they're they're supplementing the cost here for what they said they sell games right they do yeah, yeah. so they yeah. kind of sort of want you to get this in your hands 
Yeah, it's the, their own ecosystem. Ah. Right. But nicely done. I wonder how they mount these little touch pads here. They feel kind of cheap, but... So it's kind of like an Xbox and stuff like that where you're, they're giving you the device. Yeah, yeah. And in, in return, you're buying their games. Yeah, I don't know what kind of margins they have, but they're probably not too substantial. So I guess I guess there's upgrades too, like the 400 is the base model, and then you have, you can get faster, more storage capacity. Yeah, more storage, and it's faster storage. It's mm -hmm. NVMe. Typical PC upgrade path. Yeah. Well, we got the thing powered up now. The screen looks pretty good. Contrast is a little lighter than I'd like. It seems to be limiting the frame rates in the menu, but that seems reasonable enough. It's very quiet. I'm surprised by that. They seem to have done a decent enough job in the thermal solution. Well, it's not doing anything. Yeah, but still, like it's considerable. It's it seems to be doing the business. Uh, I would have expected a portable thing like this. You would have heard it when it was on. Hmm. Like maybe it was quiet, but this I, at this distance, I can't hear it at all. We had somebody using this before we started filming, and they were playing a rather intensive game, and the fans pretty much cranked, and it wasn't even that bad. It was better than I would have expected. It was actually pretty quiet. So I think they did a pretty good job in the thermal solution overall. I actually just saw Linus's video he did where he put like a big external heat sink on this and cut a hole in the back, but uh, <laughs> yeah, not super right. practical. And it yeah. did actually improve the performance. That's the thing. Uh, this is already pretty big for a portable. You know? Yeah, right. It's not pocketable. Yeah, so, right. You know. yeah, adding but, depth to it is yeah makes it kind of a, a brick. Really, overall, I think it's a very impressive package, and there's very little to talk about because it's just, like, exactly the way you would expect. A handheld PC with, mm -hmm. with, yeah. with gimbals. Considering <laughs> the price on this, it's like, it's great. The buttons feel nice. Everything seems good. There's not a lot of flex. I mean, it's slightly creaky, but... It definitely needs a pair of headphones. Like, yeah, the, the sound out of it is yeah. teeny. Yeah, it's kind of easy to tell by looking at it. Yeah. So, right. Yeah, it needs, it needs some audio supplantation but yeah it has bluetooth so you can bluetooth to any so bluetooth yeah. amp deck oh that's and, pretty cool yeah and then uh yeah. you could run any any headphone essentially yeah we even had like bluetooth speakers or something like that that's true that'd be real easy that's kind of cool i mean that would really improve your gaming experience yeah does it connect to alexa <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird airflow path presumably this is the intake yeah and the exhaust is over here and it flows through something i'm not really sure entirely what it looks like inside there but Oh boy, I'm hitting things now. The screws are a little offset in their holes, though. That's a little curious. I don't really like the uh, small radius they put on these. Like personally, I prefer if these these were a bit more flush. But these like super sunk holes in here, they're like seem a little unnecessary. I mean, obviously it's intrinsic part of design, but I think you could have designed that out so it's a little bit more attractive on the screw holes. If that's, Probably like, saves from having a here. long screw, right? Well, yeah, you don't want to, I mean, you want the fairly thin wall on the plastic here and squish it into whatever internal componentry is there. It's just with this design and the screw placement, I think they could have mitigated some of that. But Maybe the uh, designer used to make toys or something because that seems like you'd assemble like, you know, your typical anything screwed together like a Fisher mm. Price kids toy mm. or something. You'd have well, to, you yeah, know. it's an economical way to do it. But I think really what they're trying to do is mitigate significant uh, snaps on this edge. So it's more user serviceable, I would assume, because it doesn't look like there's like huge class behind your retaining this. Because if that was the case, you wouldn't need this density and placement of screws, most likely. But maybe like little snaps or something, but not the real heavy duty kind where you got to just like jam in there and totally destroy the plastics to well, get it out. When Linus did his video, did he show it coming apart? Did he take it apart? I think he did, but I skipped yeah. through so it. So you have so. to watch that to see how it comes apart. Yeah. If, if that back just unscrews and comes off. It looks like it kind of just unscrews and yeah, pops looks off. Like it. Yeah. But overall, pretty nice, and it's surprising, inevitably, like always we talk about this, where it doesn't matter, the plastics don't line up here because <laughs> you don't touch it. But here, where it does matter, they do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you'd be feeling that the whole time. Oh, like, yeah, right. Like, like this edge is annoying on this particular model. I don't yeah. know if they're all like that. But you never touch that. But so. it could yeah. be also from potential heat distortion and stuff. Yeah. I know uh, my Xbox controller is like that. Yeah. That, yeah, where you touch, it's smooth, but then on the top, there's like an edge. Yeah, yeah they just said yeah, yeah. it. Was, it wasn't worth running another mold for that. So. Oh, right. They just sent it, but it's fine. Uh, then you got the classic problem of a new platform of learning the buttons because it's like a whole new controller. I see that. Yeah, right. so I don't know what the learning curve looks like, but yeah, yeah, it took you a few minutes to get to yeah. operating it. Like it feels yeah. good, but actually knowing what button to hit. Yeah, right. I wonder how splash resistant this is. See, I'm too old for that crap. Uh, like I'm beyond being able to uh, learn all those buttons on a. I uh, barely can use a an Xbox controller. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. 
I wouldn't want to have to land a plane with an Xbox controller. It's just mm. like that, yeah. I'll land a plane with an Xbox controller? Yeah, yeah. be a bitch. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how you fly planes, but mm. maybe in simulators. <laughs> really, I think it's a pretty impressive platform, and I'm just waiting to get mine in the mail at some point, maybe, ah. hopefully. Maybe. No. I ordered it a long time ago. Though, oh, you're so. still waiting for one? Well, now, yeah, now, you got, now you got one to play with. Yeah. Although this for one was minutes. ordered like 15 years ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like they tend to be. I guess it's got a fun it, little case, too. When it shows up, it shows up. It's got a little strappy thing. I guess they, they, uh, they yeah, did. That's a well-made case. They didn't want to yeah. release it until it was ready. Yeah. It's ready when it's ready, and it seems to be ready. Yeah. It's cool. Mm. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool for the money. I think it's really cool. If you uh, want to step up past just your phone gaming, you know, mobily, yeah. it's a good way to do it. Really cool. Mm-hmm. Big screen. Full, su- full, full, full out running Windows PC yeah, if you want environment. To, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or you don't have to. What else can you run on it? Well, normally boots Steam OS, oh. Linux based operating system, but you can put Windows on it if you want. I see. Oh, yeah. so it's it doesn't come with Windows. No. no. Ah, it's made to be uh, you know their whole package. Got it. But it seems to be great. Software seems pretty decent. And hopefully, with time, all the little bugs and whatnot get worked out. But at that price, it seems like it's going to be adopted very heavily, and it, really no complaints. Yeah, they're going to sell a lot of these things, hardware. given given its function. Well, yeah, and considering a lot of people already use Steam on their computers, uh, right? You already You're have already a familiar Steam library. With it, so library you, know. you already have your games. That's like a pretty big deal. You don't need to worry about switching to a new platform where now I don't have any games. And this thing looks pretty basic to slip into a backpack or a mm-hmm. suitcase or whatever and just not worry about it too much because it's a pretty sturdy case. So, yep. yeah, yeah, I think all in all, it's really nice, really nice design for the money. They're obviously, you're, you're obviously getting it at their cost, if not, <laughs> if not better. You know, it's got to yeah. cost a lot of money to make this thing. It's got to cost a lot of money. So. They're not turning a lot of bucks on this. No, no. So it's a, it's a gift. So on that note, time to sign off. It was fun talking about a new toy because we don't get these in too often, things like this. And then, Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thumbs us up if you like this. Take care.